parking, de nieuwe plaats. En dan dit is ook nog eens, nog eens de sticker. Is dat voor op elke bul een sticker dan? Lincoln Park, here we come. We staan hier allemaal met heel de crew te blozen en we zijn aan het smelten dat het geen naam heeft, maar die airco werkt hier niet. Oh, dat is hier allemaal zo, hè. op zijn Amerikaans heel strikt, dat de deur dicht moet zijn en dat een band dan officieel binnen kan komen binnen een minuut of zo, een interview, maar we zitten hier. Als die mannen nou binnenkomen, dan gaan ze schoon zijn. Hey guys, we're back. Hey, Hi, hey, Phoenix. How's it going? Sean. Sean. Nice meeting meet you, man. Yeah. I'm good. Hey, everybody. Hello, uh, cameras. Hey. hey. How's it going? Hi, Ron. Hey. Sean. Hey, Ron. Sean. Nice to meet you. I don't think you'll be needing the jacket in here because it's it is, it is pretty, pretty warm. Pretty right? asana-wise. Uh, cool outside. We were just out watching the system. You were watching yeah. System of the Down? Yeah. How was it? Yeah, I just felt and heard oh, the subs in here. They're incredible. I love them. I know. Yeah. What a band. Guys, second time Rockwerchter for uh, Linkin Park. The other, uh, the, the last time was six years ago. Has Linkin Park as a band changed over those years? I'd say, I'd say yes and no. I think like certain, certain things about us, I think have always been the same. Mm -hmm. And um, one, one thing about us is every, uh, every time we make an album, we go in into the studio and we kind of have no idea what's going to come out mm -hmm. when we're done. And it usually surprises all of us every time. I think that's one of the things that's consistent about us is that we're always changing the, the, the type of way that we make our music, but yeah. the essence of the music and what we're about as songwriters, it's always putting the song first and just having a good time doing it. That's always been the same from the very beginning. Okay, yeah. that's what keeps you going, what keeps it fresh yeah. as well. Congratulations on One More Light. Thank New you. New record came out like a little over a month ago. I think what's the nicest compliment you've gotten so far? I think for me, I've heard it a lot, so it's not just a singular thing, but the nicest thing that I ever hear is when people actually connect with it. And so when it comes out and people say like, you know, hey, I'm dealing with the loss of my father and I really connect to this song because of this, oh, yeah. or I'm dealing with this and this, then that's like a huge compliment because that's your biggest hope in releasing it is that somebody else is connecting with the same way that you are. Yeah. You know, that's that's the biggest win that, that I feel like we could have as artists. Well, you guys are really, um, really sweet to your fans. You're all about the fans. I just saw on, on the door, I, I saw the little curfew, like uh, interview with uh, the people from at the festivals. Uh, then it's uh, the meet and greet with the people from LPU. Uh, that's a fan club. We started, when we started off at the very beginning, we were really connected with our fans mm -hmm. and we learned really early on that without fans, like we don't get to play the music that we want to play. And so it started off as like this, you know, really organic, um, personal relationship like I, I used to give out my home phone number in the beginning just to like call for and we, we would send like the first package that went out was just like some tapes and then eventually some CDs there's got to be like that authentic and real connection between the band and the fans it kind of it fuels us to keep going and gives yeah. us feedback for what we're doing and then at the same time for them to be able to kind of have a chance to meet with us I think it's you know just keeps that relationship alive and after all these years Rob is not giving out his home number anymore, but I still give out Rob's number. Yeah, so <laughs> get a you're a little shit. It's 949-362-1111. Perfect. What I, I, did I saw the funniest video of um, Mike watching fans, teenagers, um, reacting to your music. Okay, seriously, this first video, I have kids, and I won't show them this first video. Like. It's just so bad. By the way, it was directed by a guy who did porn, who's a porn director. Is that the same guy? He looks completely different. Chester's hair in this video is so insane. My hair in this video is way worse. It was amazingly funny. Like, do you guys even still remember how that happened? Yeah, there's definitely those moments we have, like with, with funny haircuts or weird clothes that we were wearing. I think for anybody, like you look back 20 of years course. at some of the stuff and you're just like, ah. But in our position, like that's like memorialized and it's out there and it's yeah. it's it's there for everyone to see forever. <laughs> so it stings a little more once in a while. Okay. <laughs> well, you guys look great. I hope you feel great as well about the show tonight because a lot of people are looking forward to seeing you guys play.